Hello everybody, I'm Billy Noodles and welcome to this video. Uh, this is how to make a custom track. Yeah, I'm going to be doing this in parts and this first part I'm just going to show you how to download certain software and model the race. So first of all, let's get into software. Um, I'm going to put this zip file in the description for you to download. It has everything you need in it. As hence the name, and so it has Brawlbox, which is good. Can't be Cloud Magic Y. Uh, Magic Y, I put in the calculate Y val thing in there so you could so it works, I guess. And but before you use Magic Y, you need to you need to set up Python 2.7.12. And yeah, and right here it comes with Wii Scarper with all the files you need in it. And it also comes with OBJ to KCL, which you also need for the KCL. Um, one thing I didn't add in here was um, Weems tools, which I'll show you how to download right now. Um, you can, this this file right here is also in everything you need. It has the links to Weems tools, and I'll just go to that link right there. And right here is downloads by version, and it has the latest version on the top and right here this is for Windows I don't know how to do it for Mac but I guess you can figure it out but right here it is for Windows so I'm just going to download Windows and show you that and you just open this up and hit extract to I'll just put it on the desktop you should extract real quick and then oh here it is and yeah, once it, so now you open this and then you open this and then you hit Windows install, but you click it, right click it and then you hit run as administrator and this pops up. Now the screen is black. Okay, now it's normal. And then this will load up. It's loading up. And it'll say done eventually. Done. There we go. And so now what you do is it should pop up a window that says I don't think this was installed correctly and you just want to say this was installed correctly and then you restart your computer and then if you get in any folder and you hit shift right click and uh, it should say open command prompt window here or PowerShell window here I don't know what PowerShell is but it, it works so we're all good and if you just type in WSCST and it pops this up after you enter then it's successfully installed so yeah Alright, well, I guess we can get into modeling now because that's all the software and that's all I need to tell you about the software. Um, so yeah, you just want to download SketchUp from SketchUp.com. That's not in the everything you need folder. Even though I said it's everything you need, it's not. You need to go to SketchUp.com and download SketchUp. Um, and you want when this uh, window pops up right here, you want to hit... What the heck? What's going on? Yeah, it's still recording. Alright, whatever. Um, when this window pops up right here, you want to click Choose Template, and it'll pop up right here. And you want to find one that says Meters on the end. doesn't matter which one, just find one that says Meters. I like Urban Planning because it's completely blank, and then you can just hit Start Using SketchUp. I'll just, I'll just wait for it to load. There we go. Alright, now let's get into modeling. Uh, when you're modeling a Mario Kart track, the the width, the normal width of a Mario Kart road is about 3,500 meters across. So, yeah, what I do is I just get a rectangle right here. And if you just start typing numbers, it'll appear in this dimensions little box here and so if you just start typing like 3500 it'll just appear in the dimensions and you hit comma 3500 and use and this will give us a perfect square that's about the width of what we want our road to be so we just hit enter and there we've got a nice square now another thing you might want to note is that this gray section this gray part you can't drive on that in game that you'll fall right through this gray part but this white part you can drive on so you want the white part to be facing up so you just right click it 
and hit reverse faces and there the white part is now facing upwards alright now I guess we can get to making the track um, I'm, I'm gonna put like a a big square there so we have like I don't know yeah just something to yeah like a plane alright and now I'm just I don't know why I deleted that line you don't have to delete that line um, and now I just kind of get I I click on the green point and I drag it over to this point and it'll like automatically keep it like that if you hold it for a second I guess and yeah I'll just drag this to there and then I'll make it like a I'll make a ramp right here I'm going to try to show you how to do most of the stuff I know like cannons and ramps and animations and uh, global objects I already have a tutorial on global objects on my channel you can check that out so yeah mm, yeah there's a ramp and we'll just make it land on a I don't know we'll just go like this whoops I'll just make a this and we'll make this and then we will delete these lines um yeah that looks pretty good and then let us make a curve curves are pretty important I guess if you're making a curvy road but if I want to get like a 90 degree curve what I do is I um, get this I just make a line of any length and I copy it paste it and then I hit Q and rotate it so it's perpendicular whatever the word is like that and you put this head corner on that corner like so and then you get the arc tool and you put ed like point to point and then you wait till it turns blue there you go and then you just you can delete these lines now um yeah and I'll just rotate this 90 degrees and then we'll put that there I'll get another art and this one doesn't give you like a blue line or something to base it off of so I just estimate that looks pretty good I guess so yeah um, now we're gonna continue this on and I'll just put it to right here and then right here we'll make uh, uh, squares no that's uh, working there's a square and I'll just copy this we're gonna make little I'm gonna make little bumps on the road so that you, like you can trick off of them I guess so first we're making squares and then we get the offset tool which makes it the exact shape of the thing it's in for oh, oh. Uh, uh, there we go like no, that didn't. for example right here the offset tool makes it the exact shape of that so we're going to do that with the squares and we'll make it about that big And then what we can do is we can raise it up. Why does it always select the wrong thing? I'll raise it up to there, and then you can make it the same height just by doing this. And now we can. I'm going to turn this upside down here. Um, we can delete these lines. Oh, and what I'm pressing on my mouse is to turn it like this you just press the middle button on your mouse the scrolly button and then to drag it you press the scrolly button and shift at the same time and you can do that so yeah now we're getting into now we're just going to delete these lines underneath it and we'll delete 
delete that. So now we can just take a line and go from corner to corner, uh, to corner to corner, to corner to corner, to corner to corner. And I will do that for all of these really quickly. I'll just delete these lines. Oh dear. No, I want to put these two lines. There we go. And then we can delete this. And now for this, this one. Just a line there. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Edit, redo the line. And we can delete. This one. What's going on? Why is it? Why is it not working? Endpoint to endpoint. What? What? Is that even? Endpoint. I don't understand what's happening. Okay. Oh no, that didn't do anything. <sighs> okay, I guess we'll just... What if we start here and we do that? Okay. That's interesting. Alright, so for some reason that time it worked. Alright, and now we gotta do the last one, which is right here. Just delete these lines. And delete this space. And then draw lines. There we go, and that one is finished. Um, and next, let's make a little section where you, um, wait. Uh, let's make a new, let's make a section where you turn and then there's oil slicks everywhere. We're just gonna put oil slicks everywhere. Um, That'll be really annoying. So we'll just turn this so we can get a nice same so we can get the same width of the road on the turn. And we can get a rectangle and do that. And then we can do this. The oil slicks don't come now, those come later and in the KMP, but we can totally fill this road up with tons and tons of oil slicks and make them huge. For texturing later in the, for later texturing this race, you can do this to make it easier to texture these corners. And then, right here, I guess. Hmm. What can we do? So I got. Oh yeah, we can do a cannon from here to here, so you can finish off the race. That's a, a, an amazing idea. Yeah, that's how you finish the race. You just go on a random cannon. So, yeah, this is our complete model. Completely finished. And so, yeah. 
Actually, to make it a good cannon, we need to have it so you can have at least a chance to turn around. I'll just estimate that width. And make this line like that. So yeah, this, I guess, ends the part for modeling. And on to the part two for texturing.